Hey, what's up guys? Sean Nalawani, EliteImpactLabs.com. And in this video, I'm gonna cover the topic of creatine and fat loss and whether or not creatine should be used as part of your uh, fat burning supplement plan. So the short answer here is yes. Creatine monohydrate should be a staple in your overall supplement plan, whether your goal is to add overall mass or if you're aiming to reduce your body fat level. Anytime you aim to lose body fat, you have to create a calorie deficit by burning more calories than you consume. And that deficit is what stimulates your body to release uh, stored fat for fuel. And your central goal during a cutting phase is to maximize body fat losses while minimizing muscle losses. You work extremely hard for every ounce of muscle that you build and you wanna protect as much of that mass as possible while you uh, focus on losing body fat. And this is why intense weight training is equally as important during a cutting phase as it is during a mass building phase. You need that intense weight training because you need to stimulate your muscles in order to encourage your body to hold on to its lean mass despite being in a uh, net energy deficit. Now this is where creatine supplementation ultimately comes into play. Creatine's main effects are on increasing strength, power, and um, overall performance at the gym and it accomplishes this by increasing the efficiency of your body's usage of um, uh, ATP which is the primary energy molecule that is used during short explosive activities like weight training. So by continuing to supplement with creatine during your uh, fat loss phase you basically maximize your performance in the gym and this helps you to maintain your strength which in turn helps you to spare a higher percentage of your overall lean muscle tissue. And since muscle is also metabolically active and burns calories all on its own, this also translates to a greater amount of total body fat burn. So the dosage for creatine monohydrate is exactly the same whether you're uh, aiming to build muscle or lose fat. Um, you just want to take about 3-5 to five grams of high quality monohydrate powder daily uh, in order to keep the muscle tissue continually saturated throughout your cutting phase. Um, now, some people do raise concerns about the potential of creatine to have sort of a bloating effect. They're afraid it's going to cause their uh, muscles to take on a softer and less defined appearance. Uh, but this is really nothing more than an outdated myth. Um, and creatine uh, does not cause any form of bloating. The creatine does cause additional water retention, but that water retention is intracellular and not subcutaneous. In other words, creatine drives water directly inside of the muscle cell. Um, but it doesn't deposit any of it underneath your skin. So if anything, creatine will actually end up increasing your overall muscle definition and hardness rather than causing uh, the so-called creatine bloat like most people uh, falsely believe. So yeah, creatine should definitely be supplemented with during a fat loss phase because it allows you to maintain your strength and maximize your performance in the gym. And this uh, forces your body to spare a higher percentage of your muscle tissue as you lose fat. Uh, which improves your overall appearance and also slightly increases your uh, resting metabolic rate as well. Um, for even better effects, I would recommend that you mix your 3 to 5 grams of creatine monohydrate with about 3 grams of beta alanine. Um, just like creatine, beta alanine also increases muscular strength and endurance, but it accomplishes this through a separate pathway, and creatine and beta alanine. Um, have synergistic effects when they're used together. So three to five grams of creatine monohydrate combined with three grams of beta alanine is the basic combination that I would recommend whether your goal is to build muscle or to lose fat. And if you do want to check out a very high quality creatine beta alanine based formula, you can check out our uh, muscle amp formula over on EliteImpactLabs.com, which I'll link in the description box below. So I hope you found the information in this video lesson here useful today. Um, if you did enjoy the video, as always, please make sure to hit the like button, leave a comment, and subscribe to stay up to date on future videos. Also make sure to grab your free 28-day mass building plan using the link in the description box below. That includes, uh, includes a free workout plan, meal plan, and supplement guide, which you can grab from EliteImpactLabs.com. And make sure to join the Elite Impact Labs Facebook page for daily articles, videos, tips, and muscle building supplement giveaways. Thanks again for watching this video, and I'll talk to you again soon with more free bodybuilding tips.